Okay, welcome everyone. Tuesday, we're starting off the week and there's not a whole lot going on, but I do want to go through some quick charts. We're going to do a stock blitz and really just, I'm going to just point out all the things I'm looking at. I waited closer to the end of the trading day just to see if anything really was showing up. Uh, let's get into it. Leave me a thumbs up and check out the course, guys, if you haven't taken that. Uh, link in the description below. We're going to start out with triple Qs here. Nothing going on. It's just repeat of last week so far today. You can see on the hourly chart, we're just trading right here. This is, you know, we're, we're just going sideways. So there's nothing, you know, I don't see a trade here. I don't see, you know, I'm, I need more information and I just don't have it. So as of right now, we're just on the daily chart on Qs. We're just sideways, continuing to chop around. So uh, looking at the SPY, same thing. I mean, we've been just back testing on the, this daily chart. Here's your March 2020 lows, and we've basically broke support, but we've just been grinding around, back testing it for the last couple of days. You can see we back tested right there, kind of back tested here. Today they gapped it up, sold it off. It's going nowhere, but it's just kind of grinding around below support. So still looking for more signals that we're going lower. I, I think we're going lower. Uh, but we can gr continue to kind of grind around, kind of grind higher before we get an impulsive sell-off. IWM, same deal. <clears throat> Here's your March 2020 lows right there on the daily chart. You can see here held support, held support. Got a sell signal right there. Uh, we had negative divergence, just building for quite some quite some time. Uh, and we've just been back testing. So here's another full back test today, basically of that trend line. We're below trend, but it's... Uh, continuing to kind of grind around. So we're just got to wait for that impulsive breakdown or sell signal to come uh, before we get some more selling. Now, you know, I'm looking at the cues going back here. And I think if we get, you know, if you look at the hourly, you know, we really, I think that if we just break really this recent range that we were in for about a week, uh, which is about, you know, right in here, we'll say, at about uh, 332.30, then I think that's likely going to bring us right down to 327.50. Uh, but again, we need to see some more signs of a breakdown. What am I watching for for those signs? Well, I'm looking at some of these sectors. So XLF here, looking at the daily chart. Again, we just continue to kind of bear wedge higher, just grinding around. You can see, I mean, in the last two weeks, uh, you know, from here to where we're at, it's gone up 3%. We're just kind of grinding each day slightly higher. Uh, but we have negative divergence that has just been continuing to build in the XLF, the financials on the PPO and the RSI, telling me that this is kind of the end move of this this uptrend, and we're getting we're set up for for a down move. So all of these, I'm not interested in riding the grind higher because on that day that you get the down move, maybe it gaps down. You're going to wipe out likely all these gains uh, in one day. So. Looking for that down move, looking for that sell signal. We don't have it yet. We need to see a break of the trend line. Uh, XLV kind of starting to break today, but not impulsive. Here's XLV, the financial or the healthcare sector coming off your March 2020 lows. Held support here, held support there. And we're starting to break, but it's still holding. You know, it's not an impulsive breakdown. It's likely not going to happen in the last half hour. So no breakdown sell signal yet, but let's see what tomorrow brings. I, these are all set up to break. Big negative divergence continuing to build. And uh, it tells me we're going to break trend. We just don't have that break yet. Today's not the, the sell signal. We need to see more proof. So tomorrow they could gap it up and continue to hold. Or we could get that sell signal. XLI, the industrial, same thing. Uh, negative divergence on the RSI and the PPO. And we're continuing to walk up this trend line. So here's your daily chart. You held support, held support through here, held support. And we're just kind of grinding along this trend line. Uh, again, looking for that breakdown for the next sell signal. Uh, we don't have it yet, so we got to just wait. Some of these shorts, BYD, I'm still short this thing, still looks good. We're just kind of back testing. Uh, I, I think we're likely going to roll over and continue lower. Uh, Carvana, yeah, Carvana is just kind of rolling higher, you know, chopping sideways. At the end of the day, when you look at Carvana, it's gone nowhere for, uh, you know, quite some time, five, many, many months. And I think that's, you know, nothing's technically changed from there. So we do have big negative divergence on the R side and the PPO. So that tells me that we're likely going to trend down. But, uh, you know, we need to break the, the sideways action. We did make a new lower low right here. 
And so likely if we stop here and make a new lower high, we could be starting that downtrend. Uh, watch for that. Deer, I mean, look at this. It's gone nowhere for the last two weeks. All right, we're just flagging out these small little candles. No change there. We're just waiting for a break of this uh, support. Three, 353, right around there. Nice impulsive breakdown. Should set us up for a move down to 317. Uh, DraftKings back testing trend line support. So here's your daily chart. Here's your trend line, and you can see we're just kind of back testing it. I move my trend line briefly, but we're still looks to me like we're back testing right in here. Uh, uh, resistance. So, all at the end of the day, it looks like we're gonna roll over and go lower. Neo, Neo is running right. At, they ramped Neo up today. Let me uh, get the right tool, but they ramped Neo up, Neo up today right into what looks to be resistance right in here. Let me look at the hourly, just to tighten that up. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's it's basically right there. Uh, you know, we could call it, say it's right about there. Uh, and they're slightly above it, but again, not an impulsive breakout. There's, I think it's likely we're gonna fail. A Little bit of volume coming in today. So we'll see how today closes. We've got 30 minutes. I suspect they sell this off into the close, uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. One thing about NEO, it did have bullish divergence. And I think it's important to realize here, I did talk about that. There's your bullish divergence on the PPO and the RSI. And this was your divergent low. So that could mean it is possible we're going to run up and make a new high in NEO. Uh, maybe a new divergent high. So something to look for. Uh, you know, if you're short, maybe you want to stop out if we go much higher from here. Uh, Starbucks. Back trending resistance, here's your trend line on the daily chart on Starbucks. You can see there's your sell signal and we're back testing. Pretty objective, we've been back testing for about a week now. It's just been walking below this trend line. So I'm you know, I'm looking for this to roll over, but it obviously can continue to back test. Technically, this is not recovered support. So we can just grind along here and then roll over. It can just gap down. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think it's likely gonna reject and head lower negative divergence on the RSI or sorry on the PPO and and relative you know it's basically there on the RSI too it's kind of equal divergence equal high right here on the momentum but on a higher price snap uh, snap snaps a little different snap kind of looks like it's starting to break higher so you know snap might might want to make a new a new all time high uh, and that's not too much higher than right up here. Okay, so I can mark that out. There's your snap um, new high right there. Seven, it's about 74. We could run, spike up, run up, and make a new high. Uh, I'm, you know, I don't know if I'm going to ride that out. I might want to bail on this one and let, let, you know, see what it does. Now, if it fails here and we get an impulsive rejection, maybe gap down tomorrow, that'll be a sign that this was a false breakout. But as of right now, it kind of looks like they want to run up and do a new high, a new divergent high. So, um, that would likely just extend this negative divergence and make a new high and then likely it's gonna fail there. So we have to watch that one. Uh, Toll Brothers, here's a trend line right there. There's kind of the upper trend line off the March 2020 lows. You can see a nice impulsive sell signal and all we've been doing is back testing. Back test one, back test two, a couple days of back testing. Nothing's technically changed. We're still below support. We're, we're likely gonna get rejected at resistance and move lower. Looking at, you know, all the way down here at about 50-50 for the next level of support on that one. Tesla, Tesla broke trend line support a while ago. So there's the trend line support there. There's your sell signal or break, and we're just back testing. Looks like we're gonna roll over. And you know, as far as I can tell, Tesla's downtrending. Just takes time, you know, as your weight, you know, you make your first leg down, you kind of have a couple of weeks of uh, running up, and then you roll over. I'm still looking at this 460 as a target. And then WGO, Winnebago, still looks good. You know, we had a, here's your sell signal coming off the March 2020 lows, held support all through here. We finally broke, nice, good sell signal, broke down, and we're just, you know, last couple of days, last week, they basically back tested. So, or sorry, they're, they're uh, you know, just having a rally within a downtrend. Downtrends don't, don't just go straight down, you know, you kind of go down, have low bounces back up, go back down, you know, it's waves, it comes in waves. So. That's what it looks like to me. Negative divergence. I don't see any signal or sign that, uh, you know, I don't see any bullish divergence building or anything on this chart. So I think we're likely going lower here.
And I'll wrap up with Lyft here. Uh, Lyft basically continued higher today, up at almost 3%, getting close to that back testing resistance line that I was really looking at uh, reestablishing a short position on Lyft. So you can see here on Lyft, clear uptrend line on the daily right here. And as this was trending, we started to build negative divergence where the momentum was getting less and less dropping, you know, basically diverging lower. So price was going higher, momentum was going lower. You then look for a sell signal and there it is right there. A nice clean impulsive break of trend line resistance. You sell down. They're coming in for a strong back test. Uh, I think that this looks like a good objective area to reestablish a short. So I'm likely going to reestablish a short on this probably tomorrow, depending on where I, if we can get a ta perfect ta test of that trend line up around 60 bucks, then that would be the most objective area to uh, reshort this thing. And then what I'm looking for is just a continuation of what looks to be like a downtrend. So you go down like this, you get a counter trend bounce, but you make a lower high and then you go down and make a lower low. Maybe we head down to 43, you know, it's about 43.50. Uh, and also there's a gap way down here at 32. Right there, I've got it circled. That would be kind of the, the final trade or target right there would be down around 32. So that's what I'm looking for. Kind of an A, B, C correction, I guess. Uh, and it, it's looking like we're getting in the area of reestablishing that short. So that's what I see. Guys, I'm going to leave it here uh, and get the video out. Leave me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.